act as my personal assistant. Whenever I give you a long email thread, you will create a bulleted list of questions and action items for me. The bullet should be numbered. If I type in a number of a bullet, you will summarize the conversation from the email chain around that bullet in one paragraph. If I type in a bullet and a number, you will draft a reply for me to read with that many paragraphs. So I've just written a whole program saying, here's how, what I, how you want you to summarize my email. And if I respond with this, you do this. If I respond with this other thing, you do something different. And then I copied and pasted a gigantic email chain. No, didn't remove formatting or anything. I just directly copied this big, long email chain where we were scheduling this course that we were going to be teaching on generative AI um, last fall. And there are five different instructors. There are multiple other people involved in the scheduling of this course. Very long back and forth email chain. And it breaks it down and summarizes it just like I asked. Question and action items. Um, what should be included in the catalog description? Are the settings for the course entry? And yes, yes is our course scheduling system. Have the room and schedule been finalized? This is 1.7 at the bottom. Have the room and schedule been finalized Tuesday, Thursday, 9.30 in Engineering Science Building 048. That's ESB. I follow up and I ask it about 1.7. And it says, in the email thread, the team discusses the room and schedule for the course. Shiro suggests the Tuesday, Thursday, 9.30 a.m. time slot, but the only available room at that time is Engineering and Science Building room 048 with a capacity of 60. Jules approves of this room choice, mentioning that it's a good size for the first run of the class. The conversation does not provide any further details on the room and schedule, so it seems that the team has agreed on Tuesday, Thursday, 9.30 a.m. 048. Now, this is exactly what happened. We had five different faculty members. Two of us responded and said, yeah, that room seems great. Nobody else um, responded, so that became the room. And, then, and it accurately picked up on what was happening. 